We report results of a pilot study including an isotropy of susceptibility and rock magnetic measurements performed on 10 intrusives in placed on the Myosin Tejeda complex on the island of Gran Canaria in the Canary Islands. The intrusives include trachytic and phenolytic cone sheets, dikes and hyperbisal cyanide stocks belonging to an intrusive complex of 20 kilometers diameter in the Miocene Tejeda caldera. The dikes intruded concentrically around the central axis of radial symmetry and dip uniformly at an average of 41 degrees towards the center of the caldera. Here you can see an image of cone sheeted dikes of the Caldera Tejeda and the Paralillo Dam, and another image with details of a 75 centimeters wide aphanitic trachytic dike. Rock magnetic experiments include the measurement of hysteresis loops and thermomagnetic curves up to 700 degrees Celsius. Curie temperatures indicate that magnetite is the main magnetic carrier of the 10 analyzed intrusives. Asteresis loops show the presence of mainly low coercivity magnetic phases, but in a few cases also of intermediate and higher coercivity carriers. The intrusives were sampled both from chilled margins and across to study their AMS to determine flow directions. To obtain flow directions, we relied on the K-max axis. Results show coherent flow azimuths regardless of their time of emplacement. Three main types of magnetic fabrics were found. In fabric type A, the plane formed by the maximum and intermediate susceptibility axis is parallel to the dike plane. This fabric type represents the magma flow direction within the intrusives and is the dominant one, observed in 60% of all the intrusives. The K-max Axis inclinations show that about 70% of the intrusives were fed by inclined vertical magma fluxes, inclinations greater than 30 degrees, and the rest of them by horizontal to sub-horizontal magma fluxes. Vertical magma flow means inclined magma injection in sand fractures and becomes more probable as the source is located very close to the origin of the caldera.